Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be organizing my hamster treats. Uh, by the way, not that anyone cares, but my comforter is in the washing machine right now, so that's why my bed looks very bare. Um, anyway, so like I said, today I'm going to be organizing my hamster treats. They're not like super disorganized because a lot of them are in labeled jars, but I have a bunch of like pouches of treats because I get hamster mail every month and they usually send at least one pouch of treats. So it's just kind of built up over time and I have like a few other things that aren't in pouches, but that I need to organize better. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I don't have like a super set plan. I don't even have um, any uh, storage bins or anything yet. So I'm going to have to go to the store and get some. But first, I'm just going to start off and show you all all of my treats. So let me show you my collection of treats. We're going to start off with these little jars. So I have three jars of blueberry Gerber puffs, perfectly safe for hamsters. I also have three jars of banana puffs. Here we have two jars of homegrown herbs that are just dehydrated and obviously put into these little jars. I don't remember everything that's in here. Um, there's oregano, parsley, basil, uh, just things like that. Then here we have two jars of, um, it's like a hay and herb mixture that hamster mail sent. I don't remember everything that's in this mixture. It's just a forage mixture. So there's parsnip, um, maybe a little bit of dried fruit, dried flowers, uh, just things like that. Then here we have some shrimp cookies, also came from hamster mail. Um, I don't remember all the ingredients in this either, but it's mainly shrimp based. Then we have these dry bananas and rosebuds. We have two jars of millet sprays. And then we have this jar of whimsy chews. It was filled all the way to the top, but he loves his whimsy. So I give those probably once a week or so. Over here, we have this box of milk bones. These are dog bones, but they're safe to give your hamsters. They're not the healthiest treats, so I give these pretty rarely, but um, I would like to put them in a big jar as well so they are airtight sealed because right now they're not and air can get in there. And um, they'll just keep better in a jar. I also have this bag of wheat sprays. I need to get more because I did have a few bags of these, but they go pretty quick because my hamster loves wheat sprays. Over here, we have a bunch of hamster mail treats. So we have this bag of tasty greens, which just consists of broccoli, courgette, and celery. We also have this bag of very merry popcorn. So it's just popcorn, dried apple, dried cranberries, and dried coconut. He loves this as well. We have the, these rustic root gnaws. He, he doesn't chew very often like on wood, but he loves these because they actually like have good flavor. So he really likes these. And then I have this Halloween pouch, which consists of pumpkin seeds, dried pumpkin, and dried black mallow flowers. So that's what that looks like. We have these uh, carrot and elderberry trees, so they're just treats shaped like trees. There's peas, carrots, elderberries, a bunch of seeds, a bunch of herbs, all that kind of stuff. Santa's Grotto, which is just a coconut shell with um, apple leaves, hazelnut leaves, hibiscus flowers, and marigold flowers. Uh, this woodland salad, which consists of palm leaf, nettle leaf, birch leaf, and dried apple. I haven't opened this either. This is a grainless nibble pot, which just has a bunch of vegetables, seeds, herbs, all that kind of stuff. Then finally, we have these, which are like two-in-one treats and toys. So we have these crown crunchers, which have dried parsley and alfalfa in the middle, as you can see. And then we have these chews which have a bunch of seeds and maybe some herbs in the middle i'm not sure what all is in there but yeah 
Hey everyone, so it's been a few hours. I'm back from the store now. I got some jars to put the treats in. I got three storage bins. Two of them are the same size and then one of them is smaller. I got four jars that look like this that kind of match my other jars. And then I got two jars that look like this. I didn't like these as much, so I only got two of them. I'm gonna put the milk bones in these jars. I have a lot of milk bones, so I wanted to get bigger jars, like the size of these, but I would have to reorder them off of Amazon, which is where I got them before, and um, I didn't wanna do that. All right, so now that we have everything in jars, um, everything that I want to have in jars, we are going to organize. So I have this box here. I have two of these that I'm going to put all of the jars in. So we have this storage bin here and we're gonna start off with the big jars. We have Whimsy Chews, Millet Sprays, more Millet Sprays, I'm gonna add in the milk bones. All right, there's all four jars of milk bones. I don't know if I like the placement of these here. I may end up putting them somewhere else. Okay, now I need to put all of these jars in here and I hope that they all fit. Three of these, three of these. Okay, so we have all of these in here. And I'm going to have to stack three on top of here, which isn't what I wanted to do, but I have more treats than I thought I did. So yeah. Okay. And I'm still going to have to label this, 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 and then these. And I ran out of storage in these. So I'm going to have to use this wooden box. Um, it doesn't match the rest of them, which is sad, but it'll have to do. So I have these two jars here and these two two slash treats. So I just got done labeling everything. So here we have the whimsies, millet sprays right here. And these four are all filled with milk bones. And I cut off the ingredients and I taped it to the back of this one. Um, obviously I couldn't put them on all of them, but that's fine. I only need them on one. So here we have the bananas and rose hips, the hay and herb forage mix. So here underneath we have the blueberry gerber puffs, the banana gerber puffs, homegrown herbs, and shrimp biscuits. Then over here we have the wheat sprays, crayon crunchers, rustic root gnaws, tasty greens, very merry popcorn, Halloween pouch, and Santa's grotto, and this grainless nibble pot. Over here I got these labeled. These, This is the woodland salad, and I have the ingredients on the back of this, and it's just a little forage mixture. And then we have the carrot and elderberry trees. I also have the ingredients on the back of this. So here are all my treats. Nice and organized, finally. They were such a mess before. And I'm so happy to finally have them organized because I honestly didn't even know I had half of these treats because they were all like hidden underneath a bunch of other treats and they were just terribly organized. So now I can actually um, give my hamster all of these treats instead of just a few that I was giving him. Now I can actually see all of them, so that's nice. Um, I'm probably just going to stick them up on here, and then um, I'm eventually going to put them in a space with all of the other hamster supplies, but all of his supplies right now are such a mess, so I'm going to need to make a separate video organizing those, but I am not doing that right now. I need to take a break after this. Um, so yeah, here are all the treats. I'm very, very, very happy to have them all organized. All right, everyone. So that was my uh, hamster treat collection slash organization. Like I said, I am going to be doing a separate video organizing my hamster supplies because 
they are a huge mess right now but um thank you all so much for watching let me know if you have any other requests for video ideas i soon i'm going to be redoing his enclosure because obviously the holidays are over and i don't want this theme anymore um i'm kind of getting tired of it plus obviously it's not christmas anymore so i'm gonna be filming a video redoing his enclosure but let me know if you have any other video ideas and i will be happy to do them so thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye